Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am officially putting my seedlings outside. This is my first year gardening ever. And I'm sort of copying square foot gardening where they have equal parts of peat moss, compost, and an additional thing. But they used vermiculite and vermiculite is too expensive. So I just picked potting soil and we'll see what happens. I learned the hard way. This is not actually a hose. This is just like a drip irrigation thing. But anyway, so I had half a bag of potting soil and I'm just dumping it as like a bottom layer for my garden bed. That way I don't have to use so much of everything else to fill it up. And the weather for this day was so weird. So I have my snow pants on and a hoodie and I'm pretty sure I do at least three wardrobe changes, but it's all in the same day. I didn't want to run to the store to buy a new garden hose, so I just used a bucket and a kid's toy to get everything damp. And then I ordered a watering can on Amazon. So it's all good. Just a little bit of a hiccup in this process. I'm pulling all my tomato plants to the side so I can see which ones look the best. I had to do this mixture of potting soil, compost, and peat moss three times on this tarp, and it was quite the workout. I am so over this project. I've gotten to the point where it's just like, screw it. I just want it to be over with. I want to return what I bought extra of. But now it is 120, which means it is probably gonna to be too hot for me to put any more plants in the sun. I really just don't know what I'm doing. I'm just over it. And I'm realizing now why gardeners make a walk around space for their garden beds because uh i don't have one because i didn't think i needed one plus i was pressed for space <sighs> you live and you learn first year gardening woes <laughs>
At this point, I have abandoned the rain boots. They're rubbing on my shin, making me bleed, and I'm just over this day. I have to take a break because I need to take the girls to soccer practice. So I'm going to show you what we have so far. I have a funny feeling that I'm going to have to go to the nursery to buy in some plants to fill in the holes because I had a lot more success with the tomato plants than everything else. I'm going to do tomato, 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 tomato. These are all tomatoes. Tomato, 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 tomato. Basil, jalapeno. So pretty much you can see it's like four in a row, four, four, because I'm mimicking square foot gardening, but I just didn't want to build two separate ones. Probably should have, so I can get in the middle. This is garlic, and then here we go, an actually complete one. Bell peppers, tomato, tomato, tomato in the back, basil, jalapeno. These are all the plants that are left. These are all the tomatoes. So I obviously started way more than I can plant because I assumed I would kill almost all of it. I think I've had this garden about a week now. So I did straw mulch. Some of my plants look exactly the same as when I planted them. But like this basil, somebody took like two bites out of it, but it's still thriving, I guess. Some of my basil is on the struggle bus. Like I don't know what that means. Look at this basil, struggle. But this tomato plant is way bigger than when I planted it. But I don't know how to tell if some of it is stunted or if it's just slow. Like this bell pepper looks almost the same. I don't know if it's stunted or if it's just so damn slow. Okay, garlic. Looks garlicky. I have allergies, sorry. The I realize you can do too much mulch on the garlic because some things didn't even come up. I think that's a weed. I'm pretty sure that's a weed. I don't know. But I'm just going to leave it and see if it is a weed or not. <laughs> it probably is. But like this whole back row was garlic. And you can see that like only one kind of survived. A half. There's like a little green one right here. Probably not going to be anything when I dig it up. But still I'm watering it just in case it might be just like a tiny one. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I. Look at this tomato. So much bigger. And there's ants in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot. So I have to figure out how to get ants out of my flower bed or my garden bed. Where are you going? Maybe there's an ant hill in here. I don't know. But some of these look way bigger. Tomato. I just ended up putting more tomatoes in these empty spots and then the two cilantro that you saw from earlier. But let's see. So my tomatoes are good. Like this one hasn't changed at all. So it's like, are you broken? I don't know. But it seems like my tomato and my basil are doing the best. So definitely, and my garlic looks pretty good. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching my very first garden video. Hopefully it was entertaining. And I will give you small updates. It's like I said, like a month ago, it's like I've gotten the plants this far but I don't know if they'll make it to fruiting. We'll find out together. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.